So I'm here with Kevin, and he's with the Ardu Boy, and this is really cool because I heard about this uh, project on Kickstarter, and I've seen it a little bit. But why don't you tell us a little bit more about what you got here? Sure. This is the Ardu Boy. It's a game system the size of a credit card. It's powered by Arduino, so you can program it yourself or download games other people have made online. It uses the same chip as it's in the Leonardo or the Micro, and we're here at the Atmel booth showing off the uh, Arduino, uh, the 32U4. This is really cool because it takes me like picking one of these up takes me back to when I had a Game Boy and yet it's much smaller and it just has like the coolest retro feel to it. So um, I think you guys really nailed it. But um, what are you guys, where are you at with the project now? So we just finished up the Kickstarter uh, a couple months ago. Uh, we went ahead and sourced all the components, put in the purchase orders for all that. Uh, things are looking good there. We had to order 10,000 of everything. So that was a really kind of a interesting hurdle to go through. Uh, we're working on purchasing the circuit boards and I'll be going back to China next month to be working on final assembly. Cool, where do you guys source your parts from? So actually before the Kickstarter, I spent three months in China as part of the hardware accelerator called Hacks. And uh, they gave us some office space, made introductions to various factory sourcing. So actually I did a lot of it myself, just wandering around China, picking up parts and learning a lot of uh, Mandarin along the way. Oh, that's sweet. Um, so. What are the challenges like moving forward or something like this? Um, it sounds like you're just getting up on Kickstarter. Um, you've raised a lot of funding, but what are you concerned about moving forward? Uh, actually, to be honest, the production challenges aren't the biggest things. I've actually found that when you're doing a Kickstarter, some of the biggest things you need to worry about is yourself. Like, you know, have a, have a, still have a life. It's really easy to get distracted when you have 7,000 people. You want to do the best for them. Well, you still need to get to bed on time and, you know, go, go visit your friends and things like that. So that would be my advice to anybody else doing a Kickstarter. You know, obviously get your Kickstarter, your production plan, but make sure you budget enough time for yourself as well. For sure. And like after Kickstarter's going and, and you're past that, like what are the next hurdles you're kind of having to worry about? Well, you know what Artaboy really means to me, it started out as a, as a project that I kind of made for myself and found out there's millions of people who kind of enjoy the same stuff. So. Really, Artiboy is going to continue as that, is, is a collection, a community of people who like making and creating games. And we've got an awesome forum with over 2,000 active users. And we'll just start a conversation and see, well, what is what do we want to see? So is it another game system with faster power? We've also built a prototype for a smart ring. We've built a bracelet. Um, we've got some new exciting opportunities going on in the future we can't quite talk about yet. But really, we just want to see, um, put stuff out there. And then whatever people react to is what we'll go with. Very cool. Can you use these for like emulation of old games? Uh, maybe not exactly emulation. Uh, the hardware is a little bit limited, but you can do stuff that's like kind of like a homage or something like a like a similar to it. It's it's pretty pretty set up for like Apple II games or Atari games, so things like Pong and uh, Pac-Man and things like that could easily be ported over to this. Um, but uh, we're we're also working on a pet collecting and fighting game uh, called Ardumon uh, that we'll be releasing here soon. Very cool. Like and. I don't know how many people are, are in your team or who you work with, but what about the design process of the board and um, like what software do you use and all of that? Sure. So uh, I use EagleCAD. Um, I started doing this about three years ago, building my own circuit boards, and the Artiboy was kind of the culmination of of trying different procedures and and really maximizing the the like different steps you can do. I had to create all my own footprints and everything from there. Uh, so. I actually taught myself using tutorials online, just searching YouTube. I got to give a shout out to uh, Adafruit, um, Lamore over there. She does a great job posting all the tutorials for all of the stuff that she sells. And that's actually, I just taught myself uh, with a lot of web tutorials. Um, so for the plastic parts and things like that, I worked with a mechanical engineer. Uh, he has 20 years experience in the medical industry. And we spent uh, over seven different revisions to try and get the buttons just right. And for the circuit board, I think I'm on revision number 50 or something like that. So about every other week, we build a new circuit board. That's awesome. That's, this is a really cool project. I'm excited to go look it up on Kickstarter a little later. But um, man, I appreciate uh, the time you spent with us telling about your project. Yeah, sure. Check out uh, arduboy.com for more information. All right, cool. Thanks, man.